hey aries welcome back to my channel good morning how is everybody doing today i hope well um if this reading ends up resonating with you guys please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and also turn on your notification bell so you guys can be notified when i upload new videos for you all <clears throat> this is going to be for aries sun moon rising venus and north node so make sure you guys go check out your other placements there might be some messages there for you um yeah just remember that timing is fluid so these events can be past present or future and also remember to flip and switch the roles i could be talking about the person that you are connecting to um most of the time i let it be known though because <laughs> i can feel the energy so let's see for aries spirit i'm going to be pulling some angel answers at the end aries so stick around for that whatever question you have you just ask your question you pause it or you pause it ask your question and then i'll pull the card for you <clears throat> from the angel angels angel answers oracle cards so let's see what do we have for aries here most important messages right now for aries what do they need to know at this time for aries here please allow me to be the channel for aries what do they need to know at this time most important messages for my aries collective bottom of the deck we have wow unfaithful cheater <laughs> okay okay aries let's see what else we have somebody here is unfaithful go figure what else false twin flame <laughs> what else what else for aries breakup separation ending of a relationship marriage and etc hmm okay yeah you guys are leaving a cheater sex or porn addiction wow what else for aries sweet talker manipulator charmer and what else one more for aries spirit i love you <laughs> direct message to you from your person's energy bottom of the deck entertaining other options giving attention to others okay this person here something is wrong with them <laughs> yeah they love you, but this is the shit that they do. This could be someone else, though, that you're falling for, Aries. It doesn't have to be this person, this cheater, this false twin flame. Yeah, you guys thought someone was your twin flame, and they're not. <laughs> they're karmic. Definitely a karmic. This person has addictions and everything else. I feel like this person, they can't keep their thing in their pants, their private part, whatever. It doesn't have to be a thing. It could be... Um, y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so, spirit guides, angels, let's see. Why is unfaithful cheater here for Aries? What is going on with this unfaithful cheater scenario here? Why is unfaithful cheater here for Aries? Wow. For Aries, spirit, why is unfaithful cheater here for Aries? Please give me clear messages, spirits. the star hmm. could be dealing with an Aquarius why is unfaithful cheater here for Aries spirit four of cups six of wands why is unfaithful cheater here for Aries the tower in reverse <laughs> of course they don't want shit to change here <clears throat> so yeah so there, there's a person here Aries or your person or whoever this is for like somebody was in a very long-term relationship that caused them to miss out on other opportunities here they they there's a sense of boredom stagnancy but for some reason they were stuck on this person whoever whoever this unfaithful cheater is it's like you were maybe stuck on this person or something but i feel like they're, they're trying to avoid a tire moment happening they don't want to change their ways this person hasn't changed at all they don't want you to kick them out, but I feel like you are. You're kicking them out. This is what's going to lead to this victory. And then you're going to go within, you know, in hermit mode to really do some soul searching and figure out what it is that you want. Why you keep maybe keep picking partners that are cheaters or liars or whatever. You know, everybody has to work through that. So that's normal. But yeah, let's see what this six of wands is about. Why is the six of wands here? Something is going to be success, uh, a success and a victory for you. 
the four of wands yeah you you're leaving so you leaving out of this home there was a maybe could have been a lot of um arguments and fights you guys could have kids together you guys could even be married and you you're leaving the situation because this person you're seeing that they're not changing their ways here they don't want to get rid of certain things to help them be a better person you know what i'm saying so they're trying to avoid a tower moment here they are but it's coming regardless because you're leaving the situation here you probably didn't want things to end but you are you're leaving because you know that this person is not for you they're not or this could be you aries flip it switch it but yeah something something here in a home situation was not stable and like i said you thought this person was your twin flame this is a twin flame card and they're not it's in reverse they're not your twin flame they're a karmic and so you're realizing this about this person you could have missed an opportunity with your real twin flame because you were too busy dealing with this person thinking that they for some reason this person had you in some type of trance here they thought i mean they made you think that they were the one and they're not they come they're, they're a liar they're a cheater and they need help with their addictions here legitimately not even trying to be funny they just need help and you don't deserve to be pulled down into this so let's see why is false twin flame here could have been with this person for a long time though and you're just now finding this out <laughs> six of pentacles yeah you could have been giving to this person the empress kind of like came in reverse but it came in the struggle position so why is false twin flame here five of cups yeah you you definitely missed the opportunity on your real twin flame the empress is a twin flame card as well this is the divine feminine so you you missed the opportunity with this person there was something you want to you want to balance things out with your real person here the person that you were giving to could have been the mother of your child here, the, a karmic that you were just, I guess, I don't know, you were just supposed to be with for a certain amount of time to learn lessons from them and keep moving. And I feel like maybe in the midst of that, you weren't happy there. So you kind of like maybe stepped out or somebody stepped out of their marriage or whatever, because this person was already doing it anyway. They were stepping out regardless. And so I feel like you've been trying to get away from this person for a very long time. And in the midst of you doing that, you met your real twin and you know, you could have been, things could have been going good with you and your real person, the person that you actually want to be with, but something happened here. Maybe something wasn't equal. Something started to be unbalanced. And it's probably because this person, you didn't close out things. You didn't close out a cycle with this unfaithful cheater all the way. And so they, they, they kind of like maybe came in between you and your person, which caused you to be in this five of cups energy, regretful, remorseful, feeling very sad here focusing on the past and why things happened the way that they happened you really regret how things happen with your empress whoever this empress is could be a taurus or libra yeah so it looks like you want to give equally now to your real twin or they're coming in to give equally to you here but they're really really still stuck in regret and remorse about what it is that they've done yeah hmm why is breakup separation here for Aries? Why is breakup separation here for Aries? Ending of a relationship, marriage. Oh, shit. Two of Cups, yeah, in reverse. Why is breakup separation here? The devil. Mm. Why is breakup separation here, spirit? Yeah, this, this relationship here is very, very toxic. Whatever you just left, Aries good for you six of swords yeah moving things to karma waters <clears throat> you're just tired you're tired of dealing with this it's taking a lot of courage could be dealing with a leo or capricorn it's taking a lot in you to move on from this because i feel like you've been with this person for a very long time and this is probably all you know <laughs> literally it's probably all you know but there's definitely some disharmony in a relationship i feel with your divine feminine your actual twin and it's also disharmony within that relationship which is why you left it you left it because it's very toxic this person definitely does like i said it could they could have a sex or a porn addiction or it just could be codependency it could be anything toxic this person is very toxic though they probably don't really know how to not cheat you know what i'm saying something is going on with this person that they need to go seek help for respectfully not even trying to be disrespectful it's just that's just what it is you know um 
with the six of swords though you're definitely moving things to common waters it could be you and your person are in separation right now your real person the person that you actually want to go towards you're in separation with them and you're going to be able to maybe move things to common waters with this person because right now there's some disharmony in that relationship with you and the person that you actually want to be with here um you know the, it could be this double energy in the middle of things you know they could definitely you could be still dealing with the aftermath of leaving this person this person could be very vindictive or spiteful or something like that is what i'm hearing they could just definitely be on your ass like they're not letting up you know and they could be in the middle of you and your person getting back together so yeah you broke up with someone here could have ended a marriage and it's like that that's the right thing to do because you're not meant to be with that person regardless you're meant to be somewhere else here but with the two of cups upright you see how these two people are staring at each other it's like you love someone here you want to be with someone but there's disharmony in this relationship because of the background noise dealing with whoever this toxic person is whoever they are yeah it's like you're trying to move on and this there's there's this devil energy here they're they're like right here smack dab you're looking you're looking right at this devil so it's like hmm why is sex porn addiction here for Aries? Why is sex eight of swords in reverse? Why is sex porn addiction here? Three of wands. Sex porn addiction. Why is this here? The high priestess could be dealing with the Pisces. So yeah. Um, with the eight of swords in reverse. <clears throat> You're coming out of being stuck and confused and being trapped here. You are. Because, I mean, I see that you see the, you know, what's going on with this person. And you see what their problem really is. And so you're just not confused anymore. You see things for what they are. And you're ready to move towards growth, opportunity, expansion. You could be traveling to see someone here. <clears throat> you could be traveling to see someone or they're coming to see you here, Aries. Um... But yeah, this card definitely talks about moving on from the past. So, it, I mean, it could be you that's, that has struggled with sex or porn addiction, you know, and you're you're moving on from this energy. Um, and you're not stuck in this. You could have been stuck in that toxic cycle with this person. This person could have probably drained you sexually. Like, they, they could have been all about sex. You know what I'm saying? Your relationship could have been based off of sex. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, you didn't realize this person had an addiction until, I guess, you caught them red-handed having sex with someone else and it could have been a pattern of that they could have been cheating on you consistently or you could have maybe saw something i don't know but there's something i feel like that you saw that um help you move forward here with the high priestess it does talk about secrets i'm going to clarify this it does talks about secrets um it talks about intuition as well though it talks about um it could speak of illusions depending on let me see. Let's clarify. Why is the high priestess here, spirit? Why is the high priestess here? Seven of cups. Yeah, I just said illusions and confusions, and there it is. So, yeah, there was something here about this person that you've been confused about for a very long time, I feel. And um, you could have seen that this person had multiple sex people, multiple people that they were having sex with. You could have found out about it. What else for this high priestess? Wow. Yeah. Ace of Cups. Yeah, this person could have had someone on the side as well. They could have been entertaining another person this whole time or just multiple people anyway. It could have been cheating on you and the person that they were with. I mean, that they decided they wanted to be with and cheat on you with. Like, it just seems like it's a lot. Aries. Um, oh, my eye itch. Um, but I feel like your intuition is nudging you to move forward to maybe a new love offer here. Maybe you do have love for somebody. I feel like you do. There's just disharmony in this situation. But you're moving forward, I feel like, to fix it. Like I said, you could be traveling towards this person to fix it because you're not confused anymore about this situation over here. You can move forward peacefully and know that you're making the right choice here. Um, but there, it looks like there is new love coming. For some of you, there is new love. It doesn't have to be a past person that you're going towards. Um... But I feel like I feel like honestly you're embracing your I feel like I'm talking to a feminine, doesn't have to be like a female, but you're embracing your um who you are. 
I feel like this person made you feel a certain type of way about your sex or something like that. And you kept trying to validate. I mean, you kept trying to prove to this person that you could be this and that in the bedroom or something like that. Because the high priestess talks about um, sexuality, sensuality as well. And now you're ready, ready to embrace it. Like, you know, you got that good stuff. You know that you know what you're doing. This person just has a problem with themselves. And so I feel like that could have been what the toxic cycle was here. But now I feel like you're ready to embrace new love here. You have options. It could be. And you're ready to move forward here. There's something new coming into your life, Aries. With the ace of cups and the seven of cups you guys you guys could have options in love now <clears throat> so let's see why is sweet talker here for aries why is sweet talker here for aries spirit the chariot mm -hmm. you're moving on could be dealing with the cancer why is sweet talker here for aries three of swords hmm. why is sweet talker here for aries the hermit yeah, I feel like um, you could be dealing with the Virgo, Cancer, Capricorn, Scorpio, Taurus, or Libra. But so I'm hearing two things. This person could be coming back towards you here very quickly. This person, whoever broke your heart here, they could be coming back towards you. And you're just here minding your business. You're in hermit mode. You're doing some soul searching. You're really trying to find yourself at this time um really going within 1122 on the clock you could be going within right now and doing some soul searching here maybe shining the light on these snakes and these people that you have in your energy just period it could be them and other people that you have in your energy that you know you need to get rid of here um also i'm i'm seeing that you're moving on from this sweet talker here they broke your heart so you're moving forward and you're doing the inner work you know, you're doing the inner work that you have to do to embrace this new love that you're going towards or be ready and prepared to, <clears throat> and you know, to have open arms to invite what's for you in. You know what I'm saying? Um, this person definitely manipulated you, though. They use their intuition in a very harmful way. This person could be very psychic and intuitive and they try to reel you back in some type of way i don't know I'm feeling a weird energy off that they definitely made you confused though they kept you confused in a constant cycle of the same shit. so let's see why is i love you here for aries why is i love you here four of pentacles i'm hearing for some of you this person could have bribed you with money or they were dealing with somebody that always had their hand out. Always had their hand out. So they couldn't really give to their, their real person here. You couldn't really give to your real person. Uh, with the four principles coming out under I love you. This person is very possessive and controlling. They are. Why is I love you here, spirit? The sun. Why is I love you? This person has control issues. Seven of swords. Yeah. They... They know how to suck you back in. You you walked away though. Good. Eight of Cups. Yeah, stepping into your power here with the Emperor. Yeah, here you are. So <clears throat> yeah, something has something has been um something has came to light here. It could be dealing with the Leo. Something has came to light about their possessive and controlling ways here. Yeah, they're they're very they're holding on to you for dear life. They're talking about, I love you and all of this, but yet they're still doing this. They're still sneaky. They're still a liar. You know, they're still in the business of breaking your heart and doing the wrong thing. They don't, they don't want to change for shit, this person. So you've, something has came to the light, I feel. <clears throat> something has definitely came to the light. You could be making an exit strategy, an exit plan here to, to walk away. And with the Seven of Swords, you could definitely be have a plan up your sleeve to really walk away because this person is controlling like i feel like they watch your every move there something is wrong with them they're very obsessive they're very obsessive let's see why is the seven of swords here obsessive and possessive here not a pentacles yeah you want to um offer someone and communicate something to someone else here i feel like it's your real person that you want to go towards so there's an offer coming in or you're offering someone this Knight of Pentacles energy, loyalty, honesty. 
And I feel like you're making an extra plan because you know that this person is your happiness. I feel like you do actually love someone here, Aries. And you're making an exit strategy because somebody here is in your energy, maybe an ex or something, whoever you were married to, whoever the unfaithful cheater is, they're controlling. They're trying to control and watch your every move. You can barely do anything because this person, I don't know, some of y'all might have to get a restraining order put out on this person. You do because they are very, they just won't give up. <laughs> what um What is the potential outcome for Aries? Three of Pentacles. The Two of Swords. What else for the potential outcome for Aries? Why is the Three of Pentacles here for the potential outcome for Aries? Will of Fortune. Okay, yeah. So it's definitely meant for you to work with someone here. I feel like it's, it's something is destined for you. It's faded. <clears throat> there could be changes happening with the people that are around you. Your community. Three of Pentacles talks about that. It talks about partnerships. So there's something changing with how you how you feel about your um relationships here i feel even in work something could be changing here but something is definitely fated to happen for you there's a, f a fated event coming up or a fated partnership that you're supposed to be going towards here that's coming regardless because it's, it's destined for you it's in your birth chart it's destined for you to have this whatever this is so yeah it's meant for you to collab with someone here you have i feel like you and this person have a spiritual um a really strong spiritual bond and it's something that's meant for you f to happen with you and this person in this lifetime so it's coming you might not be able to see these changes in the background but they are coming aries they are coming so there's a lesson here too as well with the three of pentacles it talks about growth and learning as well so it's meant for you to learn some type of lesson here with whoever this is that you were with i feel like you know <laughs> Y'all definitely learned y'all lesson dealing with this person. Y'all could have kids with this person and everything. So, let's see. There's good karma coming. The Wheel of Fortune talks about good karma, good fortune. <clears throat> so, whatever you're going towards is going to be good for you. It's going to make you happy. Just, it takes time. With the Knight of Pentacles, whatever offer this is, it's taking time to come in. Because the divine is trying to orchestrate this the right way for you. Wants commitment. It fell over unfaithful cheater. So the unfaithful cheater wants commitment now. That's funny. So let's see. <laughs> what other um, confirmation spirit do you have or clarifications do you have for Aries? What other messages do you have for Aries at this time? Please, spirit. We have thinking of you. So somebody here is thinking of you. Let's see. What else? Friendship. It fell over. Four of Wands in reverse. It fell over all of this unfaithful cheater bullshit. So, yeah, you guys could have had a friendship for a very long time. You and this person could have known each other for a long time here. <clears throat> you guys could have started off as friends. You know, that's why you probably stayed with this person for so long. You built an actual bond with them. And they turned out to be something that you didn't expect. We have separation. Yeah, you're definitely separated from someone. It fell over the Six of Swords it, above the Empress and the Two of Cups in reverse. You're definitely separated from someone here. You're divine feminine, I feel. A lot of you are separated from your person at this time. What else, Spirit for Aries? Communication coming in. Yep, it fell over top of the Two of Cups in reverse with the Six of Swords. Um, you could be getting communication from this devil person too, whoever this toxic person is, <laughs> but communication is coming in for you and your other person that you're meant to be with. I feel what else for Aries? They will speak up. Yeah. Yep. Communication coming. What else for Aries? Stress and anxiety. Mm -hmm. Came up over breakup separation. So whoever you broke up with. I feel like whoever has a sex or porn addiction, whoever has a problem here, they're stressing. They're they're having problems sleeping at night. Wow, you guys could be seeing 1616. Wow. Thinking of you. <laughs> Didn't that come out in the in the beginning? Didn't I see that at the bottom of the deck? And the fell over unfaithful cheater. Yeah, this person is thinking about you. Whoever this is, they're really thinking about you. I cannot. Chemistry fell over the five of cups so 
whoever is regretting not taking their twin flames offer or whatever that happened you and this person have a very strong chemistry with each other stuck in the past yeah someone here is stuck here dealing with this false twin flame not having sex it came out in reverse over the devil so whoever has this sex or porn addiction there they are having sex <laughs> a lot of it will be back together it came over they will speak up communication coming in so whoever you're getting ready to talk to you guys are going to be back together again whoever you're the right person i'm talking about not this devil i mean that's on y'all if y'all want to get back but you guys have free will <clears throat> video chat okay so you guys could be facetiming you and this new love here some of you are moving towards a new person but maybe it's just a renewed love that you have with your real twin or your soulmate whoever this is for you you guys are going to be talking over facetime or however you guys communicate with video chat stuck on an ex yeah this person has been stuck on this false twin flame for a very long time commitment issues and stuck on an ex it came up over false twin flame so yeah what else for aries don't take it personal came up over sex or porn addiction <laughs> yeah right <laughs> i mean it's really not it has something to do with them yeah it came up over self-love this person needs to understand who they are and their worth they don't so this is where where the sex or porn addiction is coming from this person could have actually struggled with some type of childhood trauma they went through is what i'm hearing so you know it's it's not personal it's not but um it is what it is though you know you don't deserve to be dealing with it likes you romantically came over don't take it personal under sex porn addiction no other interest <laughs> number 13 it came up over um six of pentacles six of wands hmm. so your person here doesn't have no other interest okay what else temporary came up under false twin flame one more spirit <clears throat> talking to others yeah the sweet talker here manipulator trauma they are talking to other people wants to reconnect in autumn oh something is happening here it could be happening around the 4th or the 8th of november yeah it came up over the will of fortune as well so you guys um you and your person could be getting back together in fall which is now and um could be happening on the fourth or the eighth wow could be seeing fours as well too guys yeah okay i like these cards so let's see for the career and finance portion of your reading aries let's see what we have going on for you guys what do you guys need to hear at this time from the career and finance oracle shuffle one good time here for the career and finance portion of spirit in regards to aries career and finances what do they need to hear at this time what do they need to hear at this time please and thank you spirit spirit what do they need to hear at this time oops what's this investment finances are looking good and growing this is a great time to invest set a strong foundation and you will see the fruits of your labor okay so let's see for aries career and finances what do they need to really <laughs> really spirit okay i'm glad it flopped all the way over here angelic help this is a time to trust in the universe and know you will be provided for there's a career or blessing lining up for you so stay positive and believe pay attention to the signs your angels send you during this time okay that sounds good aries what else for aries career and finances there is something better okay and we have comfort though you're not exactly rich you will be living comfortably you're entering the most comfortable period of your life your finances are in a state of balance okay that sounds good okay so no financial problems right now aries wonderful let's see 
options many opportunities are becoming available to you now or flooded by too many ideas do not get stuck in doubt when an offer presents itself seize the moment create multiple streams of income then we have writer your words have power to influence others find out how you can contribute a career in social media management book writing content writing or blogging could be for you use words and visualize it as you write them to manifest more money into your life okay what else for aries spirit so we have take action whatever your question this is telling you to go for it. Do not procrastinate or wait to or wait to take that next step to get ahead. Just do it. Nothing will change if you don't take action. Don't let opportunity pass you by. Then we have celebrate. You've accomplished so much and you will accomplish much more. Take some time off and celebrate your success. You deserve it. There may be an unforeseen increase in your income. Okay. Then we have the artist. Focus on finding the beauty in your day-to-day -day life. The artist can be a photographer, painter, film, graphic artist, or web designer. If you can't make a living with your art full time, start part time. Just get started. New money. Something new you've been working on will be very profitable. You should consider creating a new source of income. If you have a money making idea, do it. Okay, Aries. So a lot about, um, what, what else does this card say? So I thought I heard something else about a new idea or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. <laughs> so there's something that you're working on, though, that is going to be very profitable for you, Aries. I have an Aries Venus. So. Um, and I'm a Taurus, guys. So Aries and Taurus readings usually, I don't know, for some reason they always resonate with me. So anyways, um, yeah. So this looks good, Aries. I mean, you're comfortable right now. Shit. I love it. I love that for y'all. So let's see. So go ahead and pause the video. Um, ask whatever question you want to ask. And I'm going to pull an angel answer for you guys. So you guys, angels for Aries. What do they need to hear at this time? What is the answer to their question at this time, Spirit? What is the answer to their question? Please give me a clear, honest, and accurate answer for Aries at this time to their question. What do they need to hear? Okay. What does Aries need to hear at this time? What is the answer to their question? Let's see what we have. The Aries spirit. Okay. So we have communicate clearly. Okay. Bottom of the deck, take action. Okay, Aries. So whatever you need to say or do... Go ahead and take action and communicate clearly. Make sure your words are clear. Make sure you're meditating maybe because maybe some of you go, you all have communication issues or get, you know, you stumble over your words. So make sure um, that you maybe meditate over your or even write it down, you know, because that helped me sometimes. I can't. I don't know why I'm like that, but I think because I have already have social anxiety. So it's like <laughs> it helps for me to write down things before I start speaking because I will forget everything literally. So, yeah, communicate clearly. Whatever it is that you need to talk about, make sure you say it to your person or whoever this is clearly and then go ahead and take action, you know? So, that's your answer, Aries. I hope that helped. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe, and also turn on your notification bell, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, Aries.